Do you want to win this Transformers mystery box? Stick around to the end of the video to know how. Picking up the story after 2018's Bumblebee, Rise of the Beast sticks to the ancient era of 1994 giving it some distance from the stench of the Transformers movies we no longer want to talk about. Anthony Ramos stars as a Brooklyn electrician and ex-soldier Noah Diaz, who acts as the Autobot's human correspondent. Somehow he has to grapple with the reality of mechanised aliens driving Earth's highways. The irreplaceable voice of Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime reveals that there's a new artefact that must be recovered before it falls into the wrong hands of world-eating planet-sized villain Unicron. The animal themed Maximals aren't the first non-Autobot or Decepticon to appear in these Transformers movies, but they have made more of an impactful entrance. Ron Perlman's Optimus Primal meets the other characters while Michelle Yeoh as the wise and majestic Peregrine Falcon Air Razor swings in. There's a clear distinction between Optimus Primal's connection with nature and Earth's inhabitants versus the untrusting and more militant Optimus Prime with maximal robots layered with fur and feathers, whereas the Autobots are detailed with vibrant metallic design. The Maximals are given the opportunity to shine because they aren't bombarded with the over-the-top Michael Bay action sequences like the other Transformers films. As the Autobots, Maximals and Terracron engage in combat, the great cinematography allows clean and crisp animation to show what an exciting Transformers fight would look like. Liza Koshi's Autobot RC is a Ducati 916 that darts around like a ninja, while Optimus Primal employs a thunderous ground and pound ferocity. The fighting techniques from the Terracrons keep violent altercations fresh. Rise of the Beasts might keep its battles more contained, but it allows both sides to make combinations to shine. Michael Bay has now been making Transformers films for more than 10 years, and in that time the series has moved on very little and Transformers The Last Night only made it even worse. But with this instalment, it shows that there is still hope for this franchise. But that's just my thoughts and feelings about the film. If you've seen it, I'd love to know what you thought about it in the comments below. And if you want to win this Transformers mystery box, all you need to do are these three simple things. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment on any of my videos, and subscribe to my channel, and one lucky random subscriber will be announced on the 30th of June. You can even hit that bell icon to keep up to date with my latest giveaways, such as the mystery box giveaways at the end of every month, and the comic book giveaways every fortnight. And I want to say a big thank you for watching. If you like my content and want to see more in the future, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. So with all of that being said, I will see you in the next one, but until then, take care.